Need a rest, Chris. Oh, yeah, thanks. He can't have a rest. Come on, keep going. 35, 35 and a half, 36, 36.5, 37. Perfect, you can stop. Oh, you've overshot. It's up at 38. Sorry, I'm going to have to add a load of ice, and then we'll start all over again. That's good. Keep going. Now, 37 degrees isn't just any old random temperature we've plucked out of the air. It's the temperature of your body's core, which is this bit here, where all your internal organs are. Oi, you don't need to prod me. So your organs work best at 37 degrees, and your body tries to keep your insides at exactly this temperature. You know what? I've had enough. I think I have clearly demonstrated that trying to keep something at constant temperature is hard work, but your amazing body does it every day without you even noticing it. And no matter what you throw at it, as we're about to show you. Today, we're going into battle with our own bodies to see if we can get our core body temperatures to change. It's time for Chris and Zand versus our core body temperatures. Snappy name, Zand. Thank you. Now, we can only do this experiment because we're doctors and it's being done in very controlled conditions. For this battle, Zand is going to sit in a super hot bath for 10 minutes. While Chris will sit in an ice bath for 10 minutes, He'll be freezing and I'll be boiling. But will it affect our core temperature? Let's find out. So I shall be Captain Cryogenic. I shall be Dr. Warm. Dr. Warm? Is that the best you can do? <laughs>